Good morning. So today, on uh, every day is youth day, we are going to cover some basic strumming, and we're just going to focus on our right hand. Okay, so we won't be holding chords yet. We're just going to focus on basic technique with your right hand to get the best possible sound you can get on your ukulele. Let's do it. Okay, so with strumming, here's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on our right hand. The point of strumming, okay, basic strumming, we're going to use our pointer finger. But the point is to make sure when you strum down, you use the back of your finger. Okay, right around here. So you, you kind of hit the strings with the back. And when you come up, you use this part of your finger and you come up towards yourself. Okay. So strumming, is re it's really important that you use your finger to point down. Point to yourself, point down to yourself, just like this, down and point to myself, down point to myself. Okay. Now, a lot of times what I see is when people strum, they use the side of their finger, okay? But your finger doesn't bend this way. So a lot of times you'll kind of get that sound like your finger's getting stuck. So you have to turn, okay? Now, to get the feeling of this, try lifting your elbow so you actually kind of look like this. And then you should naturally use the back of your fingernail. And it's kind of down, down, down. Now, strumming is actually all in your finger, okay? The reason why we use our arm is to help us with rhythm. Okay, so if I want to go down, 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 it's actually kind of difficult to just use your finger and go down, 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 down. Okay, our arm kind of helps. Down, 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 down. Okay, it's kind of like if you ever went to a concert and the band plays your favorite song or something and you go, oh, I like this song, and you start clapping to the beat, right? Okay, um, another common way of clapping is the clap out. Clap, out, clap, okay? But you you rarely see anybody just going, oh, I love this song. Right? So the motion is important, okay? The clap, out, clap, out, okay? That, that's where your rhythm comes from, okay? So same thing with strumming. Our arm is kind of guiding us with the rhythm, but our finger is the one doing the strumming. So strumming, it, it is kind of almost like an illusion because when you put your elbow here, it looks like I'm just doing this, but the secret is my wrist, I have to turn it. And by turning it, now I can use the back of my finger. So when you strum, you also want to strum where the body meets the neck, around, around here. Just don't strum over the sound hole because a lot of times your finger will get stuck. So right around here, I just practice that. And it should feel very, very simple, very smooth on your fingers. Okay? If your finger feels like it's getting stuck, most listeners will be able to hear that. You know, it's kind of harsh sounding, right? So just relax. This strum pattern down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and just cut. One, two, three, four. If you want, you can throw in the ends. One and two and three and four and. Okay, 
Okay, so basically, if we use the hands, one and two. comfortable with this, okay? Not just going one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay, slowly. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, and the reason for this is because later when you guys want to do different drum patterns, maybe like... It's a very common drum pattern. Thank you.